everyone. You don't know. I'm Riss. <laughs> I'm co writer, director, and actor in this performance you are seeing today. I wanted to thank you for being here. This means a lot to me. If you had asked me two years ago, I could have never imagined it would get this far. But it did, because of your endless support. So thank you for being here tonight and for being a part of A2 Life, a musical comedy. That being said, I do have some housekeeping announcements. In case of an emergency, there are exits in the back, in the front of the theater with the clearly marked exit signs. Please no food or drink in the theater. And turn off your cell phones and please no photography. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Blackout. Lights rise on hunk, goth, and ditzy. Come on, it wasn't that bad. Not so bad, we blew up a house. And I'm the one who's gonna have to pay for the damages. We can help pay if you'd like. No, no, I need to spend this week's allowance. On a house? Why not? I've done it before. Oh, thank goodness, because we're broke. <laughs> broke? Ditzy, how are we? Why do you always have to pay for your dates? I'm a gentleman. Don't you have a date tonight? I totally forgot. This took way too long. I'm going to be late. My hair's a mess. Sitsy's hair is not a mess. Isn't this the third time this month? What's her face was a little too clingy. <laughs> Didn't she just want a second date? Like I said, clingy. Ditsy, that's horrible. You know you love me anyway. <clears throat> Shouldn't you be leaving? You're already late. I can't go out like this. Uh, you look great to me. You always say that. Besides, my head kind of hurts. Maybe I shouldn't go. That's a great idea! You should take a nap! You've worked hard today, you deserve it. You can't just stand her up. Fine, I'll text her and reschedule. Happy? Happiness is fleeting. Right. <sighs> Guys, my dad texted me. What did he say? He's investigating the situation. You mean the literal explosion that we caused? Yeah, that, and he'll be home later than expected. I don't see what the big deal is. I mean, every ghost hunter blows up a house at least once. <laughs> and as long as my parents don't find out it was us, I'm true. <laughs> Given the fact that your dad is head of police and your mom is a big shot lawyer, that would be less than optimal. Maybe this isn't the career for us. I mean, what if next time one of you guys can't get out? You're overreacting. Hunk only ever does research, and the ghosts like me because I talk to them. You're normally the only one in danger. Look, you're okay, and that's all that matters. Are we going to ignore the fact that the explosion didn't make any sense? I mean, we're hunting ghosts, and they're not even solid. Life doesn't make sense. It could be the monoxide in the... Nope, no science words in my house. <laughs> Maybe you guys are right. I'm just... Freaking out for no reason. <laughs> of course it's for a reason. You're worried. We're just telling you you shouldn't be. Right, because that's how feelings work. <laughs> Here, eating something might make you feel better. Goth throws the candy and it passes right by Ditsy's hand. Wacky, you're more nervous than I thought not catching something? What happened to that baseball career? <laughs> I kept winning. Yeah, because all the boys couldn't keep their eyes off of you. Winning's winning. Why don't you take a nap, Miss Winner? You deserve it. Fine. I guess I could use a nap. She doesn't go through the door. No one notices. Haven't you noticed? Noticed what? Ditsy's been acting weird. I don't know. 
What, like not catching the junk food? Or not ruffling your hair, or missing the high five, or... You're, you're overreacting. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna head up to bed. Don't yell if you need anything. I'll be pretending to be dead. Death needs sustenance. She leaves, walking through the stage right door. There's silence on the stage. What is this? I'm feeling kind of funny. Has anybody noticed? I think that I am lost. Did you see him or her? There's so many new faces, I just can't remember. Haven't I seen him before? Wasn't she dead? And why can't I pick up a stupid piece of bread? I think something happened, it was all kind of fast. There was a shot, bang, boom. I think I got hit, did anyone see? I think there's something wrong with me. Cause I think Nancy's dead, who's there to mourn? Nobody notices, not anymore. Who will protect if I am gone? Who is there to lean on if it's Dixie's dawn? I did it all right. Where did I go wrong? I thought they would notice if I was gone. Maybe I'm alone. Maybe I'm broken. Maybe there's a part that wants to move on. Ashes to ashes, no, I'm the dust. An old timey picture of broken trust. But for this. Blackout. Lights up on Joe, the Grim Reaper. He's a teacher, well-dressed, but tired. And that is why Romeo and Juliet's main theme is death. And it has very little to do with love. <laughs> All right, class, good job today. Please don't forget, test next week. And Mr. Good, please do not forget that essay. Thank You're already pushing it. Thank you so, so much for this. I am so sorry for the delay. This, this house blew up. Yes, I know. It's due by the end of the week, no exceptions. Sir. <laughs> Dead ghost hunter. I don't have time to pick up another soul right now. I guess you'll just have to stay as a ghost. The sacrifices we make for ungrateful brats. <laughs> Class to 
today we are talking about the death of a true masterpiece of forgotten soul of hundreds who have died in the Shakespeare shows. My favorite, for example, Romeo and Juliet, sad story. Yes, I know. And the reason, love, blah, blah, blah. But the true meaning behind it is that everyone dies one day, one time. You can't stop me, I mean it. For everything dies in the end. Betrayal is near, for life always leaves you, my dears. Life's King's Macbeth, or old Othello, the pride of the fall, the one who ends it all. But death is always nigh, hero or villain, it matters not. Trust me, I won't lie. Death is always nigh. More popular when death is always there. Life is fleeting, just look at it. Titus lies bleeding, a to life. You take away the victory, the dying isn't so bad. Away with all the mockery. For sure, dying is sad. But if you look, okay, maybe squint, you'll definitely be shook. For everything dies in the end, betrayal is near. For life always leaves you, my dear. Life's King's Macbeth, or old Othello, the pride of the fall, the one who wins it all. But death is always nigh, hero or villain, it matters not. Trust me, I won't lie, death is always nigh. Aren't we supposed to be learning about Shakespeare? You would be if you listen. Life in Shakespeare is something rotten. To survive our weaklings, look and strive for another goal. Look at Paris and Mercutio. Look at this, the good die young. Life's not the best, she's so high strung, always stressed, not that chill, not well dressed, and I'm greater still. For everything dies in the end, betrayal is near, for life always leaves you, my dears. Life's King's Macbeth. Or old Othello, the pride of the fall, the one who wins it all. But death is always nigh, hero or villain, it matters not. Trust me, I won't lie. Death is always nigh. Death is always nigh. You will a test on Titus Andronicus and how it compares to Romeo and Juliet due next Thursday. I already have two quizzes that day. Can't we move the test? No. The show must go on whether you have quizzes or not. But what if I fail? Then your parents will disown you and you'll live on the streets and you'll die alone. <laughs> Are there any other questions about the test? No? You will be reading the first three scenes of Macbeth and studying for the test. Are there any Shakespeare shows that aren't tragedies? No. <laughs> Are there any other shows that aren't tragedies? Life is a tragedy. Why would theater be any different? <laughs> you would think being the Grim Reaper would earn you some respect but the show must go on. Ditzy, isn't it? All that is left is an empty classroom. The lights go out. The lights come up. That was by far the most exhausting hunt we've ever had. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Looking for another job. <laughs> you can't be serious. Oh, of course you are. You never joke. Can't we take a break? We don't have time for breaks. We're ghost hunters. And do you know how many people have died in the history of ever? At least 10. Over 100 billion. <laughs> I wasn't wrong. And a lot of them have been left behind as ghosts. <sighs> can't we deal with it 
after we sleep? You can sleep when you're dead. I feel dead. When the dead are gone, you're free to sleep. But now, the dead are making the living die, so I'm dying to get back to work. Aren't you? I'm dead serious. <laughs> All right, fine. But I have to finish this essay for my drama class first. Weren't you listening to me? We don't have time for breaks. This is a big picture thing. We're saving lives here. Essays don't save lives. It'll save mine. My professor won't let me push the deadline back any further. Besides, you were the one who told me to go to college. Yes, yeah, for the big picture. There'll be less obstacles for us if one of us has a degree. And I only let you take that theater elective to stop your whining. OK, fine. Big picture. What do we need to do? Look at this. Local haunted house mysteriously blown up. No, not that. Probably just a few incompetent ghost hunters. This. Studies show the rate of objects moving without being touched has increased by 19% in the past week? Lights come up on stage left. Guys, listen to this. Local grocery store cashier, Jessica Johnson, reports a ghost sighting. Johnson saw a girl trying to put a pack of nondescript candy into her friend's shopping basket, only for the candy to pass right through her hand. And, at the end of the article, Johnson insists that, upon leaving the store, the girl walked straight through the closed door. That's the store we go to. And look, the date of the last sighting was the last time we went to go stock up on nondescript candy. We could have seen her. We probably didn't. <laughs> this sounds like a job for us. This sounds like a job for Wayward Souls. My thoughts exactly. Did you get the supplies? I have the night vision camera, EMF sensor, light, salt, flashlights, everything. I'll start researching. I'll see if there's been any other sightings. See if I can talk to the researchers. Talk to Jessica. Contact other ghosts. We'll, we'll figure, figure out, out who, who the ghost, ghost is and, and how, how to kill it. it. We can start tomorrow. I have to finish that essay. Guess you won't get a degree if you fail your classes. I am so lucky my friends are idiots. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dance scene. Goth, Hunk, and Ditsy are working together to catch Ghost. Good and better are working together to catch ghost. the ghost having your name on it. Oh, aren't you a wise guy? Why, thank you. I use my brains a fair amount. Please don't hurt us. Oh. <laughs> I'll hurt you. Hey, that's my job. I hurt things. You pay for it. Go get them, love. Not helping Hunk. Hunk agrees. I don't. So if you're the bronze, shouldn't you be the one fighting? Just got my hair done. <laughs> Can't mess it up just yet. Not your nails. Guys. Uh, nails are on Sunday. Get it together, man. Oh, I'll get them. Guys. Who are you guys anyways? Good and better. At your service. We like to call our little dynamic duo Better & Co. Guys. I think you're forgetting someone in that title. Oh. My brother is trying to speak. Please, have some decorum. Oh, I'll show you decorum. There's another ghost. <laughs> then I have a proposition. That's not a good sign. A, a competitive pursuit for the dead still tethered to this earth. Ghost hunt. Wow, better. Um, I expected so much more from you, stealing someone's thunder. That wasn't very polite, now was it? I do have a knack for the dramatics. 
But alas, I suppose it was a lack of decorum on my part. I offer you my sincerest apologies. Are you mocking me? I don't think so. I think he just has the emotional range of a weather rock. A, a weather rock? Uh, unused. Unloved. That's a lot of feelings for a rock. Weather rocks are the emotional backbone of this country. What is going on? This country doesn't have a backbone? I am so lost. And so apparently is this country. So are we ghost hunting? Not or? in this country. Which country then? Almost to the breaking point. <laughs> to bring our attention back to more important matters, I agree with this proposition you call a ghost hunt. <laughs> You're going down! As soon as we establish the rules and regulations, I had some pre-prepared in case anything like this were to happen. Lights out. Lights up. The EMF reader is going crazy. The guys were right. There is another ghost around. This time, we'll get to it first. Go team. Anyone there? A ghost enters and moves slowly towards God. Nope. Get out of here. That's strange. With the reading so high, I should be able to contact a ghost. Why, well, yeah, it's so strange. There is definitely another ghost around. Unless the sensor's broken. Oh, I don't think so. I guess the ghost just says it will make contact. <laughs> a different ghost enters lazily. <laughs> Oh, well, your buddies to stay away. Now beat it. <laughs> what was that? Mosquito. Because it's a totally normal thing to try and wrestle a mosquito. <laughs> oh, for the love of. Did you not get the message from the other guy? What message? What other guy? You know what? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? Hunting a ghost. Same as you. Yeah, well, we were here first, so you can beat it. We follow the EMF readings. There is clearly another ghost around, and the established rules and regulations don't allow dibs. Nice of you to stop by. Not. Not. infuriating smirk paired with your stupid strut those won't get you anywhere with me i know your type you're much too stubborn to see that hunting ghost takes more than knowing theory takes a little brawn lucky for you better and i have Take a 
seat. I'll buy you coffee. I can't drink coffee. Ah, but I've heard it's the thought that counts. <laughs> or was that last century? Please, take a seat. I'm not going. Oh, then why not? I have a life here. Ah, life. She's a soulless, weather-bitten tyrant. Why me? Why not the thousands of other ghosts that litter this earth? Iago warns Othello of jealousy. Romeo dies for an undead Juliet. Honor lies not in Brutus. A ghost hunter becomes the very prey that her friends choose to hunt. You can't be serious. All this madness for what? Shakespeare? To cover up a plot hole for your own selfish desires? For the drama! You can't take me! <laughs> but with utmost disappointment, I must tell you, it is not your choice. Welcome, though it's all over, Juliet to Romeo, they're all dead now. Sorry for the wait, your King Duncan dead, forgotten, please don't hate. Your Claudius, Othello, Hamlet, the fool, I have your casket, for I am Joe, the reaper of men. It's time to go, so please. No more lies. I'm the reaper, can't you see? I'm the one in the cloak. It's time to believe that it's all over. It's my job. I'm the king of hell, the queen of rot, the duke of smoke. I'm the one who never, ever says goodbye. So your choice, what will it be? Come on, use your voice, come with me. Your story's Titus Andronicus, and you're the dead. Watch that confidence, cause they bleed red. Your people are coming, don't worry, don't pout. I'm the king of the dead, and you're my subject now. Never! I'm the king of hell, the queen of rot, the duke of smoke. I'm the light of the of your little life, you're all dead in the end. As you take your last breath, I'll be waiting here. I'm the king of hell, the queen of rot, the duke of smoke, and I've got you caught. Good and better run into Ditsy. There is no contact. You are the ghost. The nondescript candy! No, 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 I refuse. It's quite sad, isn't it? Life does not care. She makes you, then breaks you. That's the way life is. She acts like she cares, but she leaves you high and dry the moment things get complicated. But you're not here about my past relationship with that she-devil, are you? <laughs> you're here about a young girl who died, which makes her one of mine, doesn't it? You want a happy ending where life wins, she goes back to her family and her loved ones, but Juliet did not get that. Juliet died for love. The Macduff family was murdered for power. Macbeth was killed for equality, which leaves us, dear watchers, in a very tight spot. Sometimes I do miss William. But life can't always win. She may have gotten the dog when we split up, but she does not win this time. is not fair, but death is. You die, you leave the universe when it wants you to, and Ditsy's death is your fault, isn't it, watchers? You wanted a good show, so I'm sorry, but all good stories end in death. I can't believe we lost the ghosts. We've gotten every ghost we've ever hunted. Look at this one, too. We're the best ghost hunters out there. We've had
title far worse. We handle that ghost in Mississippi, that poor old farmer, the one with the machete. They chase us through the cornfield into the cabin, but we refuse to yield and kill the ghost. We? That was all me. You were cowering in the corner. All right, fine. But I handled that ghost in Arizona, heavy southern accent shot in a sunrise duel. He haunted country roads, scaring anyone who passed while you were out home. I killed the ghost. I'm always here to have your back. I guess we're better together. What? Better? Where do you get your name in the title? We're gooder together. We're both great hunters. I'm always here to have your back. I guess we're gooder together. Every ghost that we face, go when we work together. Because with you by my side, we're better together. Hey, I thought we could we never talk about that! We handled two ghosts in Indiana, poltergeist in Minnesota, spirit in Montana, another in Alaska, Louisiana, Pennsylvania, California, Carolina, Maine, Spain, Tennessee, Washington, D.C. We killed them all. We're both okay. great hunters. I'm always here to I guess we're gooder together Every ghost that we face Go when we work together Cause with you by my side We're better together That's not even grammatically correct We're better <laughs> together How's the hunt? Hunt? You know, the ghost hunt. Oh, right. How could you forget about a competition? Mine somewhere else? Nothing. Ditsy oh. is very flustered. I mean, so, oh, you know, just, uh, yeah. Competition. <laughs> competition? Huh? What happened to never losing? Are you by my side? <laughs> How's the research? It's slow. Right. What's her name? So you have that makeup date then. With who? With, you know, the girl you had to blow off because you weren't feeling well. Don't remember. How could you forget? What's the matter to you? Is that what you do? String her along, forget her name, find someone else? Her name was Shelby, and I already talked to her about it. It didn't work out. Yeah? And who will it be next? Will it be a Madison or an Alexis or God forbid, God! Hey, she's straight. Don't bring her into this. And will she know? <laughs> That you'll leave her before she ever gets the chance because you're afraid? It's not like you'd understand. You've never dated anyone. How would you know? Oh, and you've dated everyone! Because I have people that love me. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> They've never loved you. You've never given them a chance. Well, maybe. I haven't found the right person yet. But I'd rather go and look than cower in fear. Maybe I haven't either. Or maybe she'll just run away like everyone else does. Maybe she deserves more than anything I could ever be. What is this? I'm feeling kind of funny. I think that I am lost. I think I'm losing my mind. I wasn't good enough. I'm never good enough. I know I've been hiding, yet here I am. Long with these broken memories. I think Something happened, it was all kind of fast. There was a shot, bang, boom. I think I got hit. Did anyone see? I think there's something wrong with me. Cause I think Dizzy's dead. Who's there to mourn? Nobody notices, not anymore. Who will protect if I am gone? Who's there to lean on if it's Dizzy's gone? I did it all right.
have a long face. You look like you're on your way to a funeral. Why does everyone think that? Black is just my best color. Right, obviously. I'm not sure you'd fit in a funeral anyway. How about we don't kill each other and just get coffee? We have nothing better to do. We are literally competing to catch a ghost. Let's put that aside for now. Fine, I hate you and I hate coffee, but both are better than whatever that was. Yeah, let's go get coffee. <laughs> So let me guess, black coffee? Weren't you listening? I hate coffee. Strawberry frappuccino, please. I'll have one black coffee with extra cream and sugar. Um, I'm sorry, sir, but your card was declined. Hades. I've got it. even coffee anymore. Sure it is. It's coffee with extra cream and sugar. It looks gross. It is. <laughs> Better? No, I'm good. I would have thought that by now you'd be able to tell me and my brother <laughs> apart. <laughs> That's enough sugar for cake frosting. That's my goal, to cover up the taste of the coffee but still get the energy boost. <laughs> it still looks gross. No, here, try it. Oh! Oh, that is awful! Black coffee's bad just because it's bitter, but that? That is just an insult to everything coffee's supposed to be. Dude, you were having a moment. <laughs> In your face! We found the ghost, we win the competition. Dude, not now, we were having a moment. <laughs> so did you kill it? There's an issue. What, what kind of issue? Like blew up a house, no big deal, or friend was killed by said ghost? Blackout. Lights up on Hunk and Dixie. Small talk. You absolute pineapple! You toe ring! You've broken not a script rubber wristband in a fun shape that can never get traded! I'm sorry. Not you, love. I'm talking to little Miss Casper. What? I'm talking about our best friend who had a little bit too close of a call recently. You're not making any sense. Ditsy, what is she talking about? I'm talking about the ghosts we're hunting down. I'm not catching on. I'm dead. Ditsy's dead. <laughs> uh, this is a joke, right? <laughs> I tried. It's not funny. It's not. I'm sorry? When were you going to tell us? I don't know. You don't know? That's your answer? Were you just going to leave us? I don't know. What would happen when you didn't age? What would happen if someone asked you to pick something up? What would happen if we caught you? Honest to God, Ditsy, do you think of anyone other than yourself? I don't know! I don't have a clue! What was I supposed to do, huh? Did you ever think about that? I haven't even come to terms with being dead, and it's not like there's anyone to tell me what to do. I didn't even realize for hours Weird things kept on happening to me. I could see people you couldn't. I could touch things I couldn't. I'm sorry. I'm so incredibly sorry. I, I need a moment. How long? What? How long do you have? I don't know. You, you, I don't want to, you know? You know I never leave you. But you are leaving me. Us! I... What if I told you I loved you?
and I'd break because I know I can never have you. I should have seen the signs, I should have read the stars, I should have. doesn't get to win this time. What do you guys want? To do our job. Ditsy, it's time to say goodbye. No, no, please don't do this. I want to stay. I'm sorry, Ditsy, but it's for the best. No! Goth and Hunk launch themselves at good and better. Hunk fights better, and Goth fights good. <laughs> Stop it! I know you don't want this good. Don't let your loyalty to your brother get in the way of doing what's right. Death is natural. Life is natural. Death is not natural for someone our age. Help us, please. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, brother. Wouldn't it just be easier if you could come with me? You could keep your friends safe. Look around. Look at all the chaos you caused. I want to stay. Why? What's keeping you here in this trashy mortal realm? I love her. 
So you'll just string her along like all the other girls? Stop it! I'm the king of hell, the queen of rot, the duke of smoke in your mercutio. Do as I say, I'm the puppeteer, the lady Macbeth. You take your last breath, I pull the strings, I shoot the gun. It's all dead things, you're Claudius Othello, Hamlet the fool. I have your casket for I am Joe. but you're going to have to come with me. What about love? Dismissible. It doesn't change if you die. Yes, it does. Love is what makes the world spin. Gravity is there, but without love, there would be no death, because there would be no life. No one would live. We'd all just survive and then die, and no one would care. And you can't let everyone stay. I get that. But what about Romeo and Juliet, huh? They got to be in love. And Ditsy and I never had that chance. Macbeth had love. Othello gets to love. Shakespeare wrote hundreds of love notes written from lovers who could never say the right thing. Sonnet after sonnet, all of this love in the world came through him. Love is what made Shakespeare famous. Love is what lets people give and take and burn. And you can't stop love, death. No one can, not death or life, or fear, or mistakes. When you love someone- Sometimes you have to let them go. You have to hold them close. Because their love is 
the sun. And it might hurt and it might burn, but it's also the thing that lets people live. And there's this moment, even though she might leave, even though it might lead to heartbreak, she might stay. I want to be able to love. Have you ever loved someone so much? And the moment you figured out they just want to take her away, love doesn't make sense, Mr. Death, and it isn't fair. And you might say death is fair, but is it fair to deny something which makes us whole? I won't let this be our ending. No, I guess you won't. was quite standard. Quite, but the company was better. <laughs> Public displays of affection, Mr. Better, I'm shocked. I'll be here at 621, I cannot wait. <laughs> now, where is it? Shakespeare's love stories. A Midsummer Night's Dream. All right, class, I have a surprise for you. Just kidding, she is the absolute worst. Please welcome my new intern, the Grim Reaper in training. <laughs> now, the test was canceled because of the new intern. Woo! Is this what love is like? Anyways. You will be writing an essay on how the deaths in Shakespeare tragedies compare to deaths in other tragedies. This will take place of your test. So, do well. You know, there are comedies with death too, right? I mean, Blythe Spirit is one of the greats, and A2 Life, a musical comedy, is only half bad. Blasphemy. <laughs> Wait, you can't talk! That's it, that's all. That's everything. That's everything. That's all. That's all. What do we need? What do we need?